What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, and welcome to another XDL Draft League battle. This week we're facing off against Necra. At this point, I'm not even really going for playoffs because we're not in the running for it, but I'm, I'm in full fun mode. We're going to try to use the most fun teams we can for the rest of the season because I think we have this one and one more. Uh, but yeah, I actually this week opted to bring a pretty fun team. I've been so tunnel visioned into like using just, you know, standard colossal stuff because I wanted to get wins that I sort of neglected. <clears throat> sorry, I sort of neglected the part of draft league where you use just crazy strats. Uh, and this week we're using Assault Vest Glycopod. Now what I'm supposed to do here is bait my opponent into thinking that Glycopod is going to be activating the weakness policy on Colossal, uh, since that is typically what it would do in this sort of team. But instead we're actually going to be utilizing Glycopod's amazing defenses and ability to Dynamax with Neutralizing Gas to keep it from switching out. And honestly it's just got a great matchup versus like all of her team once I turn off abilities. So yeah. Uh, as we actually see, Glycopod goes insane in this matchup. Granted, there's no Will-O-Wisp, Glycopod has a lot of potential to do some crazy stuff. So what I'm going to do here is... She actually didn't bring Sand, which is what I was expecting. I thought that she was definitely going to bring Excadrill plus Hippowdon. So what I'm going to do is lead off Glycopod Colossal. Bring the Weezing in the back, because I think that's actually really nice. By the way, Glycopod hard, hard walls Glacier, which is amazing. Uh, and I think my last Mon is going to go ahead, and I'm actually running Choice Scarf Dragazolt. I think Choice Scarf Dragazolt is actually phenomenal in this matchup, as long as I bring it in the end game. So we're going to do that. Let's go ahead and see what we can pull off. And of course, if I end up finding it to be a little bit more useful to Dynamax my Colossal, I will go ahead and do that, but um, I, I don't think it's really going to be that bad of a matchup for me. <laughs> I think it's actually pretty good for uh, Glyspot. Like, look at everything Glyspot hits. It doesn't take that much from Aerodactyl. It hard walls the Glacier. Um... Versus Milotic, I think what I would end up doing is just KOing everything around the Milotic and leaving it for last so that way Dragazolt can just come in and one-shot it. So yeah, I think that's just going to be my strategy is if she leads off Milotic, I'll go ahead and just deal with everything around it. And of course, we can just Aqua Jet Colossal anyways in the end game if that is what we need to do. So yeah, but I think this is going to be a pretty fun, a pretty fun uh, week for us. Oh, let me send her a GLHF. There we go. I forgot to do that. <laughs> she leads off Aerodactyl Excadrill. Uh, I'm perfectly fine with that. I'm actually running the... Where's the Sash going to be? Probably on the Excadrill. I'm going to go ahead and Dynamax here. I am running a Shookaberry on my... Ooh, what if I Dynamax Protect? What if I Aqua Jet first? I think I end up beating this thing in the end with... Dracozolt, if I really need to. I think... Eh, we'll, we'll, we'll target out an Excadrill first. I'll Max Geyser it, and I should be able to tank one Max Quake with Max Defense Shookaberry Weezing. If she withdraws the Excadrill, what's going to come in? My Lottic. I think that's fine. Let's see if the, um... No, okay. Aerodactyl didn't Dynamax. Uh, there's a chance the Aerodactyl Earthquaked, which I'm fine with. If there's a dual wing beat coming out, I actually shouldn't take too much from this. And with Weezing on the field, I can actually max Flutter by pretty safely since uh, it doesn't activate competitive. Ooh, that actually does a solid amount. That was a crit, that's why. Okay, I was like, what? How's it doing that much? Okay, that was another crit. How? Is this like scope lens? That's actually really unlucky for us. Because now I don't know how well we take the hit from this thing. Dang, that was actually really bad. We just got double crit. I, there's no way you're running Scope Lens Aerodactyl, right? Like, that's just not a set. Um, I suppose what I can do here is Max Geyser the Aerodactyl and Sludge Bomb into it as well. In case it's Sash. Because that will end up going into Milotic if that is the case. 
Uh, maybe I should have Will-O-Wisped. Dang, that kind of sucked. <laughs> yeah, that's... Look look, look how little we would have taken. Oh, dang. I thought we would love that. That kind of sucks. Alright. So, we probably lose now. I might just forfeit game one if I'm being completely real with you guys. I think that's pretty much the worst possible outcome. Not sure how we come back. I guess Choice Scarf Dragazil could do something. I'll go ahead and I'll Bolt Beak this Aerodactyl and Willow Wisp into Milotic. Because if we catch that Excadrill, that'll be pretty nice. We should outspeed Arrow. Nice. Uh, I think we catch it. Awesome. Awesome. Get rid of that thing. I hope. Yeah. And we still don't know if it's Sash or not, but... It doesn't matter now. As I am really getting un unlucky this game. I'm, I'm not a fan of my luck right now. <laughs> Oh, man. Um, yeah, we lose. I am in shock of how unlucky I, I just was in this match. I mean, there's the Volcarona. It definitely doesn't take a Bolt Beak. Um, I can attempt to somehow live this hit. I mean, I could Bolt Beak the Volcarona here. Go hard into Colossal. Maybe live. Or I guess I would Protect here. And maybe that'll let me live. If I connected that, that would have actually been amazing. Rage Powder will save it since that technically goes first. No burn. Awesome. And since they're going to go for Iron Head, I'm actually going to go into my Colossal here, since I should take one. It's the Rage Powder, no Dynamax, which is awesome. Gonna eat that hit pretty well. And the rain stops. Okay. I mean, Milotic would have protected earlier if it had it, I think, so I should be able to KO this Milotic. I think I go into Weezing here. Yeah, if I burned earlier, that would have been great. If I didn't get crit, that would have been great. I think I can bring it back in the next game. Like, just by doing the same thing. But a lot of my game plan just got revealed. Maybe Dynamax Milotic for no reason? Possibly? Alright, there's the Excadrill. As they don't protect the Milotic. Gonna get rid of that. Maybe if I'm lucky somehow I'll tank this hit. I'm probably not though. Max Quake. I'm not gonna be able to relock myself into a different move. Yeah. And uh, Colossal definitely doesn't bring this back. I suppose I can try a Heat Wave. And a Will-O-Wisp. There's no point in protecting either of these right now. I think my only out is if she targets the 
wheezing, and then I get like a, a crit burn on the on the Excadrill, and then I just protect and hope I live a couple of hits. Max Rockfall, interesting. Is there no ground move on this thing? You'd think they'd go for it now. Alright, finally connected. I find it funny that Weezing's just not visible on screen. If he's in the right slot. I might be able to squeeze out just a little bit more information by protecting here. Eh, I, sh I probably should have just forfeited. Hopefully uh, she goes for the Iron Head. Alright, yeah. That's fine. I don't reveal my berry then, which is amazing. I did, like, nothing, too. Ah, oh, we had such a good chance of winning. Had, like, none of that unlucky stuff happened. I think I literally just do the same thing, to be honest. I think that my game plan was perfectly fine. And it was just a series of very bad crits that really messed me up. Yeah, I'm gonna forfeit here. Alright, let's try that again. I have a pretty similar game plan. Uh, yes. Alright. I think I can just lead off like the same way. No Glacier, which is uh, good to know. So I'm going to go ahead and go Glyspot Colossal again. I think Verizia, or not Verizia, Weezing and Dracozolt is still my play. I just have to, just have to not get crit twice. <laughs> Yeah, the, the Scarf Drag is going to be really useful. By the way, I'm Scarf Sandrush in particular because that actually would allow me to outspeed the Excadrill if uh, if the Hippowdon came to the match, which actually would have been really funny. But I think she probably opted out of Hippowdon just because of how many tools I have to hit it. But it was one of the things I actually feared the most, mainly because of Yawn. It actually would have put a pretty big wrench in the whole Goliathspot game plan. I may end up Dynamaxing my my Colossal this game. Cause if they call the Dynamax on the Col or on the um on the Golisopod, I should be able to pull something off. So go bronze on Volcarona. I mean, if Trick Room gets set up, I really wouldn't mind that too much. I can try this. I'm actually going to go ahead and... Hmm. I'm not going to activate a Weakness Policy. I'm just going to go for the Raw Heat Wave. And KO this Volcarona. Because I think their play is Rage Powder Trick Room. And I'm not running Safety Goggles. So hopefully I don't get burned here. That'd be amazing. That's good damage. Liquidation should KO. And if I don't get burned, I'm in a really, really nice spot. Come on, 30% chance. I think I'm fine. Alright, yeah, we're fine, we're fine. Uh, so the reason this is amazing is because Glyspot hard walls Glacier. I'd say it's probably weakness policy Glacier. Um, should definitely get Glyspot in right now. 
I'm in a geyser. Kind of concerned about weakness policy being like really annoying for me. Or I could actually just KO the Bronzong. Yeah, I'm going to KO the Bronzong. Uh, and the reason I want to do that is because if I can actually just stall out the Dynamax and stall out Trick Room, I should just be able to win with the with the Bolt Beak that I have. Okay. So I should always take um, a Max Quake here. Even at like plus two, just because I'm max defense, it's non-stab and I have a Shooka Berry. I really hope it's not <laughs> weakness policy, because um, like side gyro ball would be really scary and all, but I don't think it'd be weakness policy. At least it'd be pretty difficult to set it up with Bronzong. And she would have to have the speed IVs be higher on the Glacier, I believe. I think Bronzong has a pretty high speed compared to Glacier. Our Bronzong protects, that's fine. I should be able to Willow us next turn. Max Quake. Ooh, okay. Kind of a hard read. I'm assuming... Actually, I don't know what um, what she was reading there. But I should always be able to Will-O-Wisp this thing now. And my next geyser will KO this bronze on. Since the rain will be up. Alright, geyser there. Don't miss. Please do not miss. Watch it be ally switch. That'd be kind of annoying. You've missed enough today. Alright. Thank you, Sugarberry. Don't get crit either, please. Nice. Doesn't do too much. I might, I might even take the next one, to be honest. Just judging by the damage, even if I, like, miss. I'm not gonna miss, though, right, Weezing? Ooh, okay, never mind. That Alright, yeah, I still take one, though. I think I still take one. And I can just KO whatever's next to this thing. But Safeguard is cool tech, that makes sense. And it's Excadrill. So I think I'm fine here. I just always target the Excadrill and protect. I could even knuckle the Excadrill technically, but that's just not safe. I think even if Excadrill protects, it's not going to like this hit at all. Yep, yeah, there's the Protect. That's partially why I kind of wanted to Knuckle, but it, it doesn't really matter. She Quakes. And I eat that up. I wonder how much this does. What if I KO through Sash? Or not through Sash, but through Protect. Nah, not quite. I could Aqua Jet here, uh, but it's not worth revealing since I haven't actually shown that yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and Liquidation. And I'm willing to... Nah, I shouldn't give up Colossia. I'd rather give up Weezing. Uh, we'll just Sludge Bomb for damage on the Glacier. Extra does get the double protect, but it shouldn't matter in the long run. High horsepower. Because I still get an Aqua Jet KO. Chilling Nay boost could be kind of annoying. Just 
Twist the dimensions to turn to normal. Um, I'm gonna go for the heat, the heat wave first because it's. I mean, it's not the most accurate move, but the chip damage on this thing is gonna be really nice. I actually have to reveal Aqua Jet, which kind of sucks. Like, it's not going to do that much because it's coming off of Colossal and we're in the rain, but it's just to ensure that down the road my Bolt Beat KOs, which is kind of the most important part here. I'm pretty sure Bolt Beat into close combat will always KO, and they kind of have to high horsepower anyways. Burn? Oh, wait, I can't burn. <laughs> Gonna get rid of my coal, but now I can just bolt be close combat and we're good. Actually, I don't have to reveal close combat yet, technically. I don't think it matters for the matchup. Oh, wait, no, now I do. Now, just to be safe, I kind of do. Because the rain's gone. Alright. We're gonna CC here. I have never seen Glyspot click CC. Little bolt beak. And that should be game. Kind of upset I had to reveal the Aqua Jet, but it's whatever. It's kind of implied, but the air of... I don't know, the, the whole not knowing thing was kind of big. And that's your KO. Nice. Okay, sweet. I think we literally just do the same thing. Like, Glyspod's so good in this matchup. It's it's so good. It's very hard not to bring it. Alright, let's do it again. Yeah, Glyspod's extremely safe. I, like, really, as long as I play correctly, like, if I, if I use my Glyspod correctly, it's very hard for me to lose the matchup, given uh, the team that she brought. And it feels like she considered the Glycepod. I feel like she actually considered it where a lot of my previous uh, opponents actually didn't. Because if you look at the way she prepped, she has a rock coverage on her... Um, she has rock coverage on her Excadrill, which is actually really big for the matchup. I think I still literally just do that. And the 50-50 that she has to call with the Aqua Jet Weakness Policy play is actually really nice for me as well. I was somewhat tempted to lead off with the... With the, um... What's it called? Drake Azult, but... I think I'm fine not doing that. Because if, uh, if she ended up leading off with, like, Aerodactyl plus anything, as long as it wasn't the um, Volcarona, I could Aqua Jet Bolt Beak, but I don't think she's going to bring Aerodactyl. I don't think Aerodactyl does much beyond, like, taunting and dual wing beat. And yes, while the Aerodactyl was huge versus Glycepod game one, that came down to double crits, which was not fun. <laughs> Alright. Let's see what we can pull off. Aerodactyl Excadrill? I ah, kind of wish I did that now. Kind of wish I did that now. You know what? You know what? You're not staying in with that thing. It's time. You're not staying in with that Excadrill. There's no way. And if this isn't Sash Aerodactyl, I have a really, really nice lead here. I'm not staying out with that Excadrill. It's too risky. It's simply too risky. Also, if the dual wing beat goes off into the glide spot, I'm perfectly fine with that. Cause not because then I actually get a free pivot. Ooh, nothing, nothing dynamaxed. The Excadrill did stay in, but nothing dynamaxed. At least not on her end.
And I'm actually perfectly fine. Awesome. That is the best thing that could have happened. An active and policy. Is that a crit? No, it's not. Forgot how strong that is. Please dual wing beat my Goliath pod. I would love that. Because every sash in your team is now broken. Okay, and we do know that the sash is on the Excadrill now, just judging by that. Uh, the way that you prepare for Colossal, you pretty much always have to have a sash for a revenge killer. And breaking that sash is actually huge for me now. There's the bronze on. Um. Glyspot just beats the thing in the back. I think my play is going to be KOing this Excadrill. With max flare. Or I could even just prevent Trick Room altogether and win. I'll do that. Eh, Excadrill's a little scary. I'll still liquidation. I, I think I think I go for the for the bronze on. Let's see if it's heat proof. Okay, yeah. It's gonna switch out. And there's the Milotic. That's fine. Hopefully I don't get a defense drop. That actually kinda sucked for me. Cause it's not like my liquidation's doing damage to that thing. Ooh, is the trick room going up? No defense drop, please. No defense drop. No! <laughs> That's so bad. That's so bad. Oh, no. Alright, there's the trick room. Um, on the bright side? On the bright side? All I really have to do is stall out this Milotic for a couple more turns. And I can close combat that Excadrill for a KO. And then I'm fine. So I think my play here is always going to be protect close combat. Since Excadrill's Sash is broken. Yeah, because pretty much I just have to stall at Trick Room and then I get in my, my guy. My uh, Dragazolt. Oh, not that. Close combat, max guard. And the chip damage is amazing. I'm really br I'm really glad I got to bring the glass pot of this week. Like that is so cathartic. It's it's one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, and I drafted it. And just week after week, it wasn't a good idea to bring it. Probably Dynamax Milotic. Oh, Dynamax Excadrill. Um, I think I'm cool with that. I think my close combat's still doing a lot. Oh yeah, I think after a round of rocks, it's within Aqua Jet range, but I'm probably going to lose my Glycepod. So my Lytic, my Lytic recovers, that's fine. Max Rockfall. Ooh, okay, cool, cool. So, yeah. Um, at this point, I go for a double Max Guard. Or I guess I just go for double protect, technically. Because I think everything in the back is more important for beating my Lodic, right? I suppose Weezing doesn't really matter. I can go Weezing here. I mean, I am still going for the Milotic endgame, so technically, yeah, Weezing is more important. I'll Aqua Jet here, see how much that does. After Rocks, I always KO, but let me protect. See if I can get it. It's just a matter of protecting until the, um, the Trick Room's over, and then I win with my Bolt Beak. Max Guard, that's fine, I think. I get my Protect as well. I wonder if this forces me out. It shouldn't, not in the rain. Don't burn me. Okay, yeah, we're fine. Uh, the next Aqua Jet will KO.
and I always, I mean, I, I can solar beam for fun. It doesn't really matter. I'm not going to get the triple, so I guess I can just solar beam. You should always try for the triple, but I think I'm fine. Just because I just have to stall out a couple of turns of trick room, and I'm, and I'm just, you know, I, I just win. But, man. Yeah, I'm glad Glyspod kind of carried this week. And that'll do it. Nice. So obviously, Necra can't KO both of my Pokemon right now. So I always just, I'm always going to be able to stall it until Trick Room ends. How much is Solar Beam doing? It might KO, actually. At plus two, I think it's going to KO. Oh, the Grass? Okay, alright. That's not going to KO, but that's pretty that's that's good that's good prepping just because like dynamaxing that thing would have actually been really scary i'll close combat see if we can get another ko at this guy i suppose my play would have been to go into wheezing to guarantee i get the ko actually no we just get it nice all right sweet so glycepod straight up carried this week which is amazing Good game to Necra. Uh, be sure to subscribe to her. She makes amazing content, by the way. Her content's actually so good. I got featured on the Players Cup stream. Her um, her like little analysis that she'll do for each little Pokemon in the in the metagame. It'll be like a minute or two long. They got featured on the Players Cup stream, so that's actually really cool. Shout out to her. Go ahead, subscribe to her. Amazing content. Trying to see her grow. And yeah, have a nice night. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.